has caught every one of Tarek Skubal's starts. First pitch is lined down the right field line foul by Miles Straw. Good indication, Dan, of a guy that the numbers don't always tell the story with Miles Straw. Helps this team in so many different ways. And a you know, and he's starting to use the whole field, but especially going the other way. Swung on and missed, and it's one and two. Terry Frank. Oh. Straw barely got a piece. Wait till I get burnt. I'm going to start showing my pitches right away. To right center field, Daz Cameron made up the ground. Last weekend in Cleveland. Here's Ahmed Rosario. Take strike one. Hey. You talked about Scooble early with the change pitcher. Off the end of the bat to right field, Cameron where he stands. Two away. Yeah, right there is a good indication. The first pitch of that. So just very, very unpredictable so far in the early going. Ramirez first pitch swinging. Right center field gap. But Cameron makes up the ground there. Oh. He will face the four, five, and six hitters. As in hey. Owen Miller, Josh Naylor, and Oscar. Three fly ball outs to right. Quickly ahead of Miller, Owen two. See ya. Ball club two. Takes he, it low and it's two and zero. Oh. He gets uh, he had that crowd like I'm okay, I'm okay, and he stayed in the game. Just provides a lot of energy. Into the shift for Jonathan Scope. Out of his shoes trying to hit a fastball. Let's see what Tarek does. No, nope. stayed away with that fastball. I just. Now one and one. To 24. Has a tendency to leave the zone a little bit. And has some swing in mid -string. The one two. In the dirt. Good take. To make it easy. Base hit to center. Oscar Gonzalez, the first base runner for Cleveland tonight, and they'll save that baseball for him. To Gonzalez was was on the outside part of the plate, just caught too much of the plate. Scooble facing Ernie. Got away from him a little bit. One and one. In there for a strike hey. two. Slide it again. Taps it foul. Last time these two squared off was in Cleveland. They're really throwing Clement inside, not letting his hands get extended. Just like that. Baez flips it over to Scope, and the inning is over. There's been plenty of injuries for the Tigers, but how are they on the mend? Trevor Thompson has that story when we return. Pitchcom that that uh, they're using and uh, just saw it last time last inning that I not every pitcher is using it and it's got to be somebody that feel Tucker Barnhart didn't like and not every pitcher wants to use it either but for some reason they're doing that today. Some can yeah I think Hedges for the Guardians also had it on his knee. Last weekend correct right. And and I'm not sure unless Hitters are looking back and peeking. Two and two to Oscar Mercado, and that'll be Luke stealing signs as easily. That's fouled away. Yeah, and, and that's one of the think about things a little bit, then give him the sign. The base hit to right center for Oscar Mercado to lead off the Cleveland third. And if you haven't seen it before, pitchers are able to pick up that signal with. I'm out and just say, hey, we're not getting the signal. Mm -hmm. Or need another device. Grounds it to third and by Jamer Candelario. That is a base hit for Luke Maley. Grossman playing it off the extension. Cleveland has scored. 
here in the third. Yeah. But not hard, hit hard enough. Thought maybe he could have got over and uh, kind of picked that one. Candelario with his toes on the grass at third base. Short hop by Jonathan Scope. He'll throw to third. And the Guardians do not learn. And yeah, just bounced right off of Spencer Torkelson's glove. Not sure if Spencer Torkelson's major league career had a perfect fielding percentage. Just wow, gosh, I wouldn't, I shouldn't even have thrown over there. Now two and one to Rosario. Just walk off and get that walking lead. Fouled away, and he's a running threat. I'm a Miles yeah. Straw, steal you a bag or so. Another one grounded foul. Another one foul. Rosemira is on deck. Another 2 2. Another foul. You got evidence right there to show that, yeah, you spilled a little bit. Still plenty left in that cup to drink. Good for him. And I, I am again. Inside him, Rosario. A well earned walk. First pitch, he jumped on it and hit that ball into the right center field. First time up, and there's a good strike one. Make it strike hey. two now. That's the knuckle. Hey, where did that thing come from? And Jose Ramirez just takes it. That one's ripped foul. There goes Straw to third. Grounder to short. Baez checks the runner at third, throws out Ramirez for the second out. Strike one thrown, that's the slider at night. Checked his swing, but he went too far. It's 0 2. Again, you string with that change up. Base hit to left, just out of the reach of Baez. That'll tie the ball game. Owen Miller drives in two with two outs here in the third. Quarterly of a pitch is probably caught. A little bit too much of the plate. Well, Dan, that goes back to Cleveland's really good base running. Miles Straw. Everything that Javi Baez could do to just to get Ramirez at first base. Hey. On the corner to make it one and one to Josh. A little wide two and one. Another one on the corner. Two and two. Just missed. He went. And down goes Naylor, but Cleveland able to tie it up at three. In the second, off Tarek Skubal. He takes one in the dirt, 1-0. and oh. New first base coach in this. Congratulations to him and his entire family. The right place to be for him. You know, I, I take a, a day or two off to to go good for him off the end of the bat foul. I was talking about that with A.J. Hinch the other day. His dog. Gonzalez waits on the one two upstairs. My daughter actually grabbed. you'll be there. I will be there. Absolutely. Here's the two two grounded to the right side. Good range by Jonathan scope. And there's one away. You mean to us. There's Ernie Clement. It was a big weekend last weekend, too, in Cleveland. Where they celebrated that, yeah. and they had a big parade. Socks and the mm -hmm. camel hats. Yeah, you and I were out there talking with a lot of the folks who are Monday on Memorial Day as well. Here's the 0-2 to Clement. Grounded to third on the backhand. Candelario, that's a special play. Wrap that one in your Pitchers appreciate that oh, yeah. more than anybody. First pitch swinging and a fly ball to center. The Guardians go one, two, three. That's a nine pitch frame for Tarek Skubal. Needed some help from his defense. Loaded and we head to the fifth.
the nine one and two hitters against Tarek Skubal. Tonight's a pretty good highlight of the struggles of the offense. Detroit hit on base in four innings. One and one to Luke Maley. And to show for it. Get the starter out of the game. You gotta you gotta capitalize. Happened in the first and it happened again in the fourth. Third, it was a seeing eye double on the left third base line. This one sprayed into center. Derek Hill is there. And there's one away. But it did get the job done. Straw right. takes strike one. Line drive off of his left shin last weekend. Looks like he's just, you know, got the same kind of stuff. Yeah, they've got nicked. Looks like to be his old self. Slowly past the mound on the charge scope with a bare hand, no play. Straw gets down the line. Who walked and scored in the third? Fouls the first pitch back. Dan had mentioned. One and one to Rosario. Right center field. Derek Hill watches Daz Cameron take control. There are two away. Cameron back in that fourth inning they had that good nine pitch inning. Fouls it away. It's one and one. What do you think about that carpet or anything? I'm just going to I'm, I'm going to take that and I'll be very happy with it. Well, it was a five year 124 eight and you got to feel pretty good if you're a Guardians fan. I think he's a heck of a player. I think it's it says an awful lot about him yes. as a leader and a character to say you know what well, that they were going to get in the trade from Ramirez punches it to center and Derek Hill will take care of it and Tarek Skubal strands a one out single he's through five we are tired. you're absolutely right <laughs> he's Look. too nice a guy I wouldn't want to rough him up Yeah, he's a really good guy I mean posted the uh, best managerial record in the American League from 2000 with Buddy Bell is the manager. His team has fought back to tie it at three. And now with Tarek Skubal on the bump facing Owen Miller, Josh Naylor, and Oscar Gonzalez here in the sixth. In that third inning, that brings us to this 3-3 game. Three pitches, one out. Second time that Skubal has got the better of Owen Miller. Nothing but swing and miss. So good start to this inning. I thought it was interesting on Tigers Live where John Paul Morosi talked about Tarek Skubal, who struggled in the third, but since that time, Dan, he has been on point. Yeah, had the one that he just got nicked for. Good job by Torkelson yeah, that to was. keep that fair. To get through the fourth, 15 to get through the last inning. He's gotten the first two hitters here in the sixth and throws a strike to Oscar Gonzalez. Playing Gonzalez velocity. Actually, it's gotten better as the game has gone on. Mm -hmm. Slowly to third. Candelario on the charge. Got him. Bang, bang pitch. This is what he has done through six. 74% strike rate for Tarek Skubal tonight. That's outstanding. And you know what? He's already done a great. I got to go one more inning and hope the guys can get me a run in the bottom of the seventh. And he wants to be that guy. He wants to be the guy that goes deep into games for the second time this year. He's facing the seven, eight, nine hitters. How much do you think that has to do with AJ Hinch's decision? You know, at bottom of the order, they're still big league hitters and can still do some damage and cause trouble. To right field, Daz Cameron is there. How much do you think it matters that he has? And now he's going to hopefully end up under 100. Just eight pitches in the last inning. It's been just that third inning where the pitch count got to an alarm. 15 pitches or so in an inning might cause you a little bit of stress. He had 30 to see Oscar Mercado, who singled and scored in the third. He's also flown out to center. It's two and one. There's the pitch count per inning for Scooble. You know, in, in those high pitch, you've got to do some pitching, hit your spots a little bit better. But 
Tarek Skubal now, you know, when you have a low pitch count. And he strikes out Mercado, his fourth punch out of the night. Two up, two down in the seventh for Tarek Skubal. Come in, and the members of the opposing team's media says, I'm really looking forward to watching this guy play. His games. Inside, and it's 2-0 and oh to the number nine hitter, Luke Maley. What do you think about the usage so he shortened that one up and that's what helps him get back into those counts where he falls behind he doesn't have four seamer and the two seamer so he does throw more fastballs but the biggest pitch and there's a look like a good that's eight in a row retired by Tarek Skubal mows down the Guardians one two three and